Yo, welcome Fronies to another part of the Upgrade Madness series and I have decided to finally move on from my blue ring to the purple ember dimensional band. I have gotten quite unlucky, I have drafted it three times now already and every time it was a really bad trade that I couldn't use. I turned the hour ones into litters to make some lucent of it, but now I do want to keep all of my dungeon tokens to craft trade unlock stones to get prepared for the last parts that I'm missing. So I've decided to start upgrading it with a bad trade, also as an example for you and how you can go on to upgrade items with a bad trade the cheapest way. And the first step is actually a visit at the auction house and we do want to have skill damage boost on it max health and buff duration and we need to buy one trade of each and now when we are going into the trade window usually it would be quite expensive to roll and it would be random of what trade we are getting but since we have purchased the trade already and we are going to trade conversion stone, we can now change it into our purchased trade right away at 25 um, conversion stone cost. It does not cost us trade unlock stones. Compared to if we want to try it by chance, it's 100 stones. This way you're saving lots of those resources and I'm currently wanting to save them for my belt of bloodlust. So this is for me the best value that I can get. Sorry to interrupt, but short self-promotion is needed. Currently, 91.2% of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So let's make a deal. If you learn something new in this video, you have to subscribe. Then the other ones we can just slap on there normally. And I've been really unlucky with ring drops in general. Those two 150 health rings are the only ones that I actually even dropped, surprisingly. And the blessing that we are getting from the blue item will probably be used um, to upgrade those. So now let's go and level up the ring to 7.33 experience. Okay, this time I'm going to uncheck it. Last time I forgot, was pretty stupid. So let's see if we're getting to 29. That's not enough. We have to do one more. Okay, that should be enough. And now in the transfer menu, when we're putting the blue item in, we are getting the blessings transferred and the upgrade instantly to plus nine. Next up in the auction house, we have to check again if it's the best way to upgrade it with blue items or with purple trades. So we have to do a little price check. So first we're going to check rare. We're going to go to find trade, select skill damage boost, accessories. We have to switch to ring. Make sure you're always switching to ring. Otherwise it's going to be a bit weird. So there are about 100 a try. Now you can check it to epic, switch to ring again, and you will see if one ring is only 469. We're doing the same for health. We're seeing health is even more expensive than uh, um, skill damage boost, which means this is the reason why we're going to use our blessings with the health. Here also we are going to check for the blue rings. It's also about 90. Then the last check we have to do is buff duration. That's about 77. Then we are going to epic. Oh, okay, it's really cheap, 175, okay. So it is actually upgrading with purple here for that item. This is the cheaper version. We need three buff duration. Then for max health, we only need one piece. And for skill damage boost, again, we need three pieces. And we should still have enough Lucent to buy the Belt of Bloodlust because today was the weekly missions. That means the Bloodlusts are being appeared. They're going to be turned into litter and the price for the Bloodlust Belt should fall. And when they are on the lowest point, we are trying to snipe it. So now let's trade it up. Buff duration, we can just slap on there. Here for the health, we want to turn on our Blessing. 
for the 100% success chance on the blue items. We can do that twice. And here it's just slapping on again. I hope that was informative for you and you understand now how you can save those 75 conversion stones. If you still have any questions regarding the game, just drop it in the comments. As always, I will try to answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers, guys.